The Kingdom of Tonga is located in the South Pacific and it is the last remaining kingdom in the region. Tonga is made out of approximately 170 coral and volcanic islands and it is the first nation to meet the new day. Tonga has long-standing traditions and customs that are dated back to the last couple of centuries and a few are still practiced till this day. The people of Tonga make a living by cultivating the land and gatherings from the sea. However, like other small Pacific Island countries, Tonga is starting to feel the impacts of global warming and climate change. As the global temperature increases, the sea rises, islands are decreasing as land erodes out into the ocean, and cyclones are becoming more frequent and stronger. Effects of climate change has caused millions in damages in the past few years alone. The purpose of this video is to show how traditional knowledge is passed down from generation to generation can be used to build resilience and help people adapt to the impacts of climate change. One of the traditions passed down from past generation is traditional farming. Tonga has its own traditional calendar where farming activities are planned and implemented too. According to the traditional calendar, each year is divided into 13 lunar months, which are composed of 28 days. Each lunar month has its own significance and is mostly used to plan and process the planting and harvesting of yams, a crop that is highly valued in Tongan society. This has always been a successful practice and is still used by most Tongan farmers nowadays. The application of traditional Tongan architecture and traditional building methods can be a vital tool to stand against the impacts of climate change due to the frequent occurrence of natural disasters in the region. Studies have shown that the architectural and building style of traditional Tongan houses with a dome roof are able to withstand hazardous weather and are less vulnerable to cyclones in comparison to western style houses. This knowledge and skill has been used by ancient people of Tonga to survive natural disasters with the resources they had. In order to be resilient against climate change, people should work together in order for it to be effective. A tradition that can be adapted to serve this purpose is the cultural support network that has been used in rituals between families and communities. As can be seen during Tongan weddings, funerals and traditional events, People come together to support each other and thus establishing a bond and support network. The same support network can be used to help those who are vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. I hope you enjoyed this video and let us come together to build a more resilient Tonga.